it's Miss Katie. Welcome to Heritage Ways. Welcome to Project 54, Episode 33. <laughs> we are moving right along this summer and cooking together all summer long. Well, today we are making a summer drink a little bit different, and I also have a helper today. So, let's jump right in, and I will tell you what we're going to make. Uh, I think you're confused. I have a helper today. Oh, my stars. Actually, we're going to make a healthy lemonade, episode 33. You go get your apron, and you join us right after this. Before we get started with our healthy summer drink, I want to thank once again our patrons on Patreon. There's almost 50 folks or families or individuals who have come to join us on that platform to walk more closely and support us in many different tiers um, in our ministry to honor home, celebrate heritage, and spread hope. And these folks over on Patreon, they get exclusive content, they get gifts, some different tiers get different gifts. I know Miss a Little Miss Homemaker sends out postcards every month. Mr. Patient sends out cookbooks to certain tiers. Um, they get the top, t the Heritage Keepers top tier gets the journal subscription at no cost to them. So um, we we want to take care of our patrons and those folks who have joined this that community and that platform uh, and to support us in this ministry. Three patrons I want to thank today are Glenda B, Sarah D, and Mary C. <laughs> now, um, we have met Sarah and her family and were blessed to be able to stay in her farm for um, almost said a year. Oh dear, I don't know if they could stand us <laughs> for a week. Oh, I about said a month too. Man, <laughs> wow. Okay, for a week and it was just a joy. We did that when we were traveling around, and it was just a joy to be with her and her family and her mom and her dad. So, anyway, let's get started uh, with our uh, healthy lemonade, but I just want to make sure those th folks know that they are thanked, and I wanted to tell the world that we appreciate all of our patrons. To learn what gifts that they receive, just go to the link down below, and it'll tell you all about it. All right, little buddy, come on in. Can you scoot over that way a little bit? <laughs> okay. All right. Well, if I didn't already say it, I am Miss Katie at Heritage Ways. And this, we have six children. And this is our youngest. And what is your name on YouTube? MML. Man Music Little. Okay. You little don't, Music Little. Okay, man. look, look. Let's not be so silly. Let's, let's tell them what we need them to know and not have, they don't have time to be My name is Little Music Man. I work with Legos. It's true. That's your whole name? My name is Little Music Man. I work with Legos. Little Music Man. How old are you? Nine. Let's not be so silly. We've got to get this okay, video 10. done today. Okay. I just now, turned 10. He did just turn 10. And you like to cook because you've got... Oh, tell them about your very first video that you ever did on YouTube. Do it's I so have? cute. Do I have? Yes, tell them. I made a peanut butter and jelly video. So what? I like peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I will link that up here, y'all. You have got to see it. It is the cutest thing. And it was, you were five or six years old. Uh, I think it was about four. Uh, probably, I think five. Anyway, it's the cutest ever. And you've got, like, your pizza roll-ups video. Uh, and your, that, I never did pizza roll-ups. I, I did cocktail wings. You did both of them. Are you I sure? I can link them down below. Uh, All right, today we're going to make probiotic lemonade. Or whey lemonade. But if those terms sound weird, we'll just call it healthy lemonade. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, I've got an assistant. I need you to follow directions and do what I need you to do. But first, let me talk to him about this. Now, you know what this is because you know how to make the crock pot yogurt, don't you? Mm -hmm. So, we'll also give you that link as well. So, you make your crock pot yogurt and then you put it in this cheesecloth 
to strain it. Now, I'll show you here where I did this yesterday, and um, or maybe even the night before, and it's been sitting out that long. So, um, it is my Good Healthy Cooked Yogurt. And I strained it in this piece of, uh, it's actually a paint strainer that I've used over and over. So this is what I call um, the beginnings of yogurt cheese or, uh, well, it is what I call yogurt cheese um, or maybe even a Greek yogurt. Um, and I can make labna with this. And I have another video for that. So I'll tag all those uh, probably down in the description box. Now, the result, the result of straining that is whey, and we're going to show you the whey. And that's why it's called whey, whey lemonade. This is not complicated. It is super healthy, and I'll talk about the health benefits as we go along. But as we as we go right now, I'm going to have little music man juice these um, lemons, limons, and I'm going to have you juice that and get us the juice of five lemons. One of the most useful hospitality tips to serve guests and your family is to double your bread when bread making or cinnamon rolls or a lasagna and put the extras in the freezer for later. You know how to use this, right? Now you put the lemon in there that's cut and then ju 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 There's our juice o -matic. All right, so I'm just going to cut these lemons. It's preferable that you have organic. All right, let's see. Will that fit under there? All right. Hey, do you have any questions? No, ma'am. Okay. All right. While he's juicing those lemons, I have a little bit of water, pure water from my Berkey. There you go. I'm going to put about a cup of sugar, and the purpose of this is to dissolve my sugar. All right. He's over here squeezing those lemons. I'm going to set this aside and let the sugar dissolve. Probably work with oranges too. I don't know. Orange. I know it works with limes, so that's good to know. Orange and lemon lemonade. Or orange orange and eight. Orange and eight. Okay, it's just your last one. I'm gonna spill that lemon juice. Alright, so let's see what we have here. Up in there. Oh no, I just lost my lot. I'm like, seeds in there. Well, I'll dish them out. I'll fish them out. All right, can you scoot over a little bit, please? Thank you. Just All right, he has our almost one cup of lemon juice from our five lemons, right? Right. We have our whey. This whey is, as I mentioned, strained off of our yogurt that I made. So it resulted in yogurt cheese um, or a, gr a thick Greek yogurt if you let it go long enough. Now, whey is the yellowish, what's that look like? It's just a yellowish liquid. Looks kind of like lemonade, doesn't it? It looks kind of like that. Except it does. Better. It does. So this is what we have. We need about a cup of this. 
And this is called Sweet Whey because um, this comes straight from yogurt straining and not it's not acid whey. Acid whey is where you would add milk, I mean um, um, like vinegar or lemon juice to milk and to get it to curdle um, so that you can make mozzarella and other cheeses. All right. Now, I think I can see that I'm probably going to spill this. I'm going to dip out one cup and plus a little bit of the milk solids, milky stuff settled to the bottom. So I want to avoid that if I can. It's kind of all mixing together and that's okay. <clears throat> there are all kinds of uses for whey. I mean, just we couldn't even start talking about them. That's for another blog or a video or something. It's actually a tad over a cup of whey. We've got our cup of lemon juice, and then we have our sugar, one cup of sugar that's dissolved in water. If I had a one-gallon jar, which I don't have handy, I would put all this in the one-gallon jar. Because I don't want to put my hot in here with my whey, I don't want to cook my whey, I'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead and add um, some water in our jars. Pure water from the Berkey, our pure water filter that we love so much. Now, there you go. Just put some in there. All right. Okay. This will just keep our whey from cooking when we add our warm sugar water, or you can just let the sugar water come to room temperature. Okay, I'm actually using the gauges on the side to look at my amounts on the side of the jars. Doesn't have to be an exact science. Now listen, I told y'all in the fermented ketchup video that I do fermenting and sourdough and all that kind of thing. And there's a time and place, a very respected time and place to do things exact. But in my kitchen and my house is not the time and place, I'm just gonna say. All right, um, add about a half a cup of that, of the whey. Now this whey, you don't really taste it necessarily and it um, it is what causes the fermentation and it actually is going to eat the sugar so you don't have to worry about oh that's drinking a lot of sugar the whey feeds off of the sugar so the whey is a living organism little buddy and it's eating the sugar and it's causing this drink to ferment which is very good for our guts just like kombucha is good for us Okay, all right, and we're going to put, this is actually three-fourths a cup, so. Good stuff. If, if you think the kombucha, if you make kombucha and it's a little sour, put some sweet tea in it. Yeah, we put some stevia tea in our sugar. I mean in our, in our kombucha if it's too sour for the kids, that's true. Good tip. Oh, no, my seeds. Good tip. Thank you for sharing that. Also, you'll want to water down that kombucha anyway at the beginning because you've got to work your body up to it. Okay, you want to go ahead and just stir that, and that's it. We're going to stir this together. It already looks like lemonade, doesn't it? And there's a seed. I'm going to get that out if I can. <laughs> it already resembles lemonade, but you're going to leave it out on the counter for two days. The reason I'm getting these seeds out is because I don't know if it would, you know, have some adverse effect or make it bitter. I know that I've learned that I learned from my friend Mary at Mary's Nest about not making sure you don't have your apple seeds in your apple cider vinegar when you're making apple cider vinegar. So I know apple seeds are not lemon seeds, but I don't want to have some adverse effect. Okay, so we are just, the sugar's already dissolved, and I have done this before without dissolving the sugar. So it has worked fine. We used to make this at our Tennessee farmhouse, especially little Miss Homemaker loves it. She likes lemon things anyway. So she's a fan of this as well. Are you a fan of this? 
Not so much, but I'm, I'm trying to get him. But you are learning to try new things, aren't you, buddy? Mm hmm Lemony to me just tastes a little sour. Lemon is sour. And I will tell you that this will continue to, uh, well, you're going to leave it on the counter for two days. Two days. Three days max. You're going to see bubbles and fermentation a little bit. Not a whole, whole lot, but you are. After we fill it almost to the neck with water, then we're going to cover it with a cloth and a rubber band and let it sit on the counter for two to three days. And after the two to three days, you're going to cover it with, um, I use like a, you want a non-metal lid. So if you have those plastic or the PBA free uh, ball canning lids, use those and put it in the refrigerator. Uh, it will continue to ferment and sour, so and become more tart, right? Which is right. what you don't really care for. But uh, you can add stevia when you get ready to drink it. Serve it over ice. Add it with tea. Uh, some folks add it with mixed drinks, cocktails, that kind of thing. So this is a good summer drink. Let's go ahead and put some more water in. And that's it. Thank you for helping me today, bud. You're welcome. Go ahead and finish stirring that. Bye, folks. You can tell them bye. Bye, folks. Okay, so I'm just going to cover it. I have this uh, bread cloth and just going to cover each one of these. I'm going to set it over to the side on the counter for two to three days and then put it in the refrigerator. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope you learned a new way to have a refreshing, healthy drink, a healthy lemonade, <laughs> and maybe Little Music Man brought a smile to your face because he brings joy to our lives every day. Thank you, and God bless. I'm going to see you tomorrow, y'all. This is day two of the probiotic lemonade. And it has a few small little bubbles at the top. I don't know if you can see them. I have to kind of move it for them to happen. But I wanted to show you too that it's got a little milkiness at the bottom. Don't be scared of that. That's just where a little bit of the um, the whey probably didn't get strained as much as it should have or could have. If it bothers you, you can just kind of leave that sediment on the bottom when you're pouring it into something else to drink or. Um, shake it up and drink it. It'll be fine. I can't, I don't know if you can tell, but this isn't a full 24 hours yet. So, we have a few bubbles. Yeah, that's cut and then juice, ju 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 There's our juice o -matic. Okay, now let me get, let's, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, our table. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hit, lock the tape, lock the wheel down piece of uh, is actually a paint strainer that I've used over and over and over. Let's not let's not play with our hair at the, at the cooking area. Uh, I've used this over and over and over um, to strain yogurt. So that's what this is. So this is the yogurt. This is what I call a yogurt chip. Okay, I need you to quit doing that because I want to have to ask you to leave if you keep. Just stand still and listen to me. So this is what I call that is why it's called white lemonade. That's right. Yeah, let me take a picture. We have our whey, and this <coughs> is dirty. This whey is.